what up, what up, what up? Of course, it's me, your boy Richie Rich at Consumer Prime Support. Shoot another awesome video, cause that's what we do. Man, what's up, what's up, what's up? You know Consumer Prime Support, we review appliances. Today, we're gonna focus on the LG 9.0 cubic feet mega capacity dryer. All right, you can get this in gas or electric. But this portion of the video, we're gonna focus on the functions and the features. Man, all right, let's figure out exactly what can this appliance do? How does it work? What are some of the operational functions that we can use on this appliance? So we're gonna dive into that, man. And of course, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the channel. And if there's any appliance you want us to review, let your boy know and I'll take care of that for you. All right, so let's go. So we're just gonna let this video rock for a second. Like I said, this is the LG, right? You can see the model on top of the appliance as well. You can pause it if you want to. It's gonna let the video roll. From looking at it, you see the control panel. This is black stainless steel, right? You got a graphite steel as well. Inside of the dryer, it is huge, man. 9.0 cubic feet mega capacity. When you're talking about internally, man, that is huge. You can see the inside of it. Really, really good appliance that we really, really like. You can see the drum and how it sleek it looks. You got the drum rollers, and we're gonna pause it right there as well so we can get into some of these um, different things inside of the dryer. Um, that little function that you see there, it's a steam function as well. So it also has a steam appliance, but we're going to dive into that so you'll be able to see that. But before you use the appliance, always remember, man, read the owner's manual, check the owner's manual out, or you can actually watch our videos. All right. But of course, you always want to remember the safety instructions to all the appliances that we that you actually purchase so you know how to operate it and be safe. All right. Before use. All right. So let's dive into that operational overview. Clean the lint. All right, that is pretty common for you to do every time before you use the appliance. I'm going to also show you the lint inside of the dryer as well, how to clean it, how it looks. You can use a vacuum to clean inside of that. So we're going to dive, dive into that a little bit. Load the dryer. All right, make sure that the clothing is pushed entirely into the drum away from the door seal area. Clothing that gets stuck between the door and seal may be damaged or damage the seal. All right, got to be careful with that. It get trapped in there and it rubs on the front portion and it can get ripped and it can damage your beautiful clothing. It happens all the time. All right, adjust settings. This is default settings for the selected cycle can now be changed if desired using the cycle modifier and option buttons. All right, you got the begin cycle. Press start button to begin the cycle. Um, it's a start and pause button as well, so the cycle can be paused at any time, either by opening the door or by pressing the start and pause button. All right, end of cycle. When the cycle is finished, the chime will sound. All right, again, these appliances are a lot smarter. They're making little music, making little sounds right after they're finished, just to let you know that it's actually completed. Um, you also have a immediate remove from your wrinkling from the dryer, reduce wrinkling, all right? You got wrinkling care. It's selected, the dryer will tumble briefly every few minutes to help prevent wrinkles from setting in the clothes. All right, so back, remember, traditionally back in the day, your clothes just sit there once they're done. You can put on the wrinkle care feature and it tumbles it occasionally so that your appliance will continue to keep rocking. All right, if we need to get into that a little bit more inside of the control panel and the different cycles, we'll let you know that as well because we're gonna go in depth inside the owner's measure because I really want to give you that information. All right, check the lint filter before every load. We talk about that. You want to make sure that's clean. That's where a lot of the issues stem from. All right, clogged up lint, man, causes you dry to overheat. Sparkles so got our mouth covered or wearing a mask. It's difficult to breathe all the time. So you want to be, understand that your dryer does overheat. It shuts the cycle off or shut the dryer off. It doesn't heat up as hot as it needs to. And it's going to take you two to three, even four or five times to really dry one set of clothes because it's clogged up. All right. So just keep that in mind. All right. I'm um, loading the dryer. We're going to get into that a little bit. Um, you got different materials that you can use as well that you can put inside of it. So you can pause this unit. You can see the lint there. So let me jump back to the video so that you can actually see that. Again, we're going to talk about the steam inside of that as well. That's the baffle that rotates the clothes. So you want to make sure those are sturdy as well. Um, really big. So here's the filter. All right. Easy. Lip, pull it out. Clean it out. You want to make sure you do that periodically. Every time you got to use the dryer, check that lint and make sure that it's not, um, that it's clean. All right. Inside the vent, you want to do that as well. All right, so you want to pull, um, you can purchase a lint cleaner at Home Depot. All right, so you can buy that. It comes with a kit, connect it to your vacuum, turn the vacuum on, the hose that connects to it, 
It's extremely um, flexible and it can bend so it can actually get inserted inside the hole and you look in there, you vacuum that periodically. All right, so you wanna make sure that it's done as well. When we're talking about the steam function, this is the Y um, or I think it's a Y or V water valve connector so that you can connect cold water to the dryer because it has a steam function as well. So you wanna be able to use that so you'll be able to check that out. Um, so we're just gonna let this rock keep going, but yeah, you wanna make sure you do these certain things. You do have your sensor that's right here, the metal strip that's right across the dryer. When your dryer is rotating, right? And your clothes is beating on the door or beating on the sensor, that's how your, your, your dryer knows that there's no moisture in the clothes depending on what type of clothes is beating on the door. That's why you gotta be careful that you don't mix um, different fabrics inside the um, laundry because again, what if you're using something that's real thin and it never, and then you have something real thick, but the thick, um, thick or thick fabric or thick clothing that never hits the sensor, but it's always your t-shirts, it's always your underwear that hits the, the sensor, then your dryer is going to cut off a lot faster when it needs to because there's no moisture in the clothes when it senses it. So you just got to be careful with mixing your clothes. Doesn't always work out well. All right, so we're just gonna let that rock for a second. And we're just gonna pause that because that's where the control panel comes in. Because I really wanna get into that as well. You got general tips. All right, so like I said, loading the dryer, a lot of this stuff is in here. Different fabric labels, fabric care labels, all right, tumbling dry. Um, these are stuff that you're gonna actually look for yourself to go inside the owner's manual. Dry label, dry normal permanent press, uh, gentle and delicate. Um, you do have different operation and tumbling and you have different heat, right? So we're going to get into all this type of stuff, man. I just want to be able to allow you guys to see that if you want to pause it. Check it out for yourself. All right, so this is where we are, control panel, man. So let this video roll so you can actually see the control panel. LG ThinQ, all right, smart communication. Um, again, one of the components, left side is the steam, right side is typically manual. So you can see that. You can see the dial that you're able to turn to select different settings. You can see the pink strip alongside here to let you know that all these settings are steam all right so you want to keep that in mind on the right hand side then of course is typically your manual setting as well all right um but we're going to get into that you have your power button then you have your start all right so that's pretty simple pretty straightforward you can actually see that um now we have your um your digital readout right so you have your temperature setting high um then you have low but you can press that individual uh, temperature setting and it um, the indicator will light up depending on the temperature that you have between high and low you have medium and all that stuff your dry level same thing vary the damp your time dry this is a manual setting so this is like the setting like back in the day or even they still have it now so you set it on 60 minutes it's gonna run for 60 minutes because it's a manual setting you do have your signal your signal or your drum light alright so this machine has a drum light so you don't have to keep opening the door all the time all right, you have your turbo steam, you have your control lock, you have more time, less time, you have your wrinkle care, right? Of course, we talk about smart technology. You see the Wi-Fi enable here. You hold that for about three to five seconds. On here, on top, it says three seconds. I will say three to five just to be safe. You have your energy saver or you also have remote start button here. You do have reduced static and you do have damp, dry signal. All right, so you want to keep that in mind when you're looking at this appliance. All right, let's get it. All right, so we're going to let it sit right there. So let's dive into the owner's manual, man. Like I said before, the left-hand portion, when I'm looking at the video, um, it's coming. It's your um, steam cycle, normal, heavy-duty, bedding, permanent press, um, steam sanitary, steam fresh. You also have on the right-hand side your delicate, small loads, house, air dry, speed dry, and downloaded cycle. All right, so of course it gives you all the indication of the control panel. You have your power button, your selector knob, your start and pause button. You have your extra options and functions slash cycle modifier buttons, which is your remote start, LG ThinQ app, Wi-Fi, wrinkle care, time and status display, all that is in the front that we did indicate on this side as well. So all that is a part of the dryer. Of course, this is where your, your time slash status display. All right, so number one is your flow sense indicator. One of the great things that we love about this LG appliance, I think Samsung does, does this as well. The machines are getting so much smarter to let you know that if the vent is clogged up, if there's a restriction in your vent, it's a restriction in airflow, that causes your dryer to um, 
um, give you an indicator to let you know that your vent is clogged. All right, it says the flow sense duct blockage sensing system detects and alerts you to blockages in the ductwork that reduce exhaust flow from the dryer. Maintaining clean exhaust system improves operating efficiency and helps minimize service calls, saving you money. All right, one of the most common issues, again, like I expressed before, clog vents cause your dryer to overheat and it causes your dryer to catch on fire. I've seen it so many different times. You want to be super careful. Get your vents clean. Now we're saying between 18 months and two years, right? So you want to make sure you do that consistently. Get that done by, get it done by a professional, all right? Clean filter reminder, all right? It says lights up at the beginning of every cycle. All right, to remind you to check the lint filter, it turns off when the start pause button is pressed. One of the things that we have to also be careful with, pay attention to how the dryer actually starts, what's, what's on and what's not. There's so many times I go to customers' homes and they're saying the clean light never was there before, um, but it's something that most people don't pay attention to until it's time to get it to repair. But on here is specifically telling you that this light is on at the beginning of the cycle, right? It's just a reminder to let you know that you need to clean your filter. Um, your filter. Um, cycle status indicator, right? It says lights up when the appliance is in the drying stage, lights up when the appliance is in the cool down stage, all right? So it depends on the indicator status, all right? Estimated time remaining. All right, that's pretty simple, pretty forward, same, uh, pretty uh, straightforward to let you know what's remaining. All right, you also have the AI lights up when the normal cycle is selected with the normal dry level, except when the energy saver option is turned on. Says this feature optimizes drying times and temperatures by detecting the laundry's characteristics. All right, so we might have to get into that a little bit more. Says this icon lights up when the red reduced static option is selected. Um, lights up when the appliance is connected to a home Wi-Fi network. Always be careful with the Wi-Fi, just like anything else. And you want to make sure that nowadays a lot of the dryers and washing machines are in the basements. Sometimes it's upstairs on the top floor, depending on the house where the house is made. So you just want to be careful with that and have a good, secure Wi-Fi network where you can actually use all the features to the dryer. All right, lights up when the remote control feature is activated. You'll be able to see that as well. All right, so let's dive into this. Dry cycles. All right, turn the knob on and press the button to select the desired cycle. All right, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Sensor dry close. It says sensor, sensor dry cycles utilize LG's unique dual sensor system to detect and compare the moisture in the clothes and in the air and adjust the drying time as needed to ensure superior results. The appliance automatically sets the dryness level and temperature at the recommended setting for each cycle. The estimated time remaining will be shown in the display. All right, so we talked about that, the sensing. The machine is smart enough to sense the moisture in your clothes. All right, so you wanna keep that in mind. It saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of energy. So even though it might be listed as running for about 60 minutes, it's not guaranteed it's going to run for 60 minutes because if the clothes is dry, it's going to shut off in 40 minutes. Or if it's going to shut off in 30 minutes, it's going to shut off. It will save you time, save you energy, so it's not running as long. All right? Look at some of these different cycles. Your description, dry level, and temperature. This is your normal stuff. It says use this cycle for drying all normal items such as cotton, linens, shirts, jeans, or mixed loads except delicate fabrics such as wool or silk. All right? You have your heavy duty. All right, heavy duty clothes like jeans or gar uh, or garments that need extra drying. All right, so that's what that is for. You do have default settings for the dryness level um, and the temperature as well. Bedding, all right, this is for bulky items such as pillows. All right, um, nothing wrong with washing your pillows. You just want to be careful that they don't. Um, um, it's normally for the washing machine if they... Um, I would say, I wouldn't say shred, but you know, stuff like that, the stuff that's inside of the pillow gets inside the machine and you're going to have problems. All right. Um, you got blankets, you got your comforters, your sheets or pet bedding. All right. So that stuff can get in there as well. But again, be careful with that stuff. You want to make sure that the wash machine has spun that stuff out completely. If you got to use an extra drain spin cycle to get it spun out like you're supposed to, I suggest doing so because you're going to affect your dryer. You can damage the motor, you can pop the belt, and of course you're going to call the service technician to come out. Permanent press, um, drying like tablecloths or wrinkle-free clothes. 
All right, you have your delicates. You're talking about um, blouses, nylons, uh, lingerie, sheer, lacy clothes, which can be easily damaged. All right, so that's what delicates is for. All right, you have um, another, um, that's the temperature and that's the dryness level for delicates as well. You have small loads. All right, up to three items. That's it. Don't put more than three items in there. It says up to three. Again, if it's something real small that you just want to throw in there real quick, just to dry real quick, you can do that. Not more than three. All right, it's not going to work properly. Your towels. Use the cycle for drying towels. All right, it says towels. I suggest you put towels in there. A lot easier, all right, to put to um, simply dry your clothes according to what is recommended by the manufacturer. Um, steam scent, um, sanitary. All right, it says use the cycle to reduce bacteria or laundry using turbo steam. All right, so this is what this is for. Fabric type, max amount, comforter, bedding, single or one each. Children's clothing, three pounds. All right, so you just want to be careful with that as well. All right, this cleans that type of stuff, man, especially if you're dealing with allergies and all that type of stuff. Um, it's extremely useful. It says use this cycle, um, steam fresh, use this cycle quickly. It says reduces wrinkles and odors and fabrics using the power of steam. All right, dry level is not adjustable. All right, default time, 10 minutes. And you got fabric type comf comforters and shirts. All right. Um, shirts 70% cotton, 30% uh, poly blend, except specially delicate fabrics. All right. All this stuff, man, again, just be careful. Use it according to the manufacturer. You got different warnings that you can use as well. Um, it says do not use the steam cycles with the fine clothes as they may be damaged. All right. Foam, down feathers with delicate items. Wool, wool blankets, leather jackets, silk. Lingerie, foam products, and electric blankets. All right, so it's giving you some options to choose from. You got different notes as well. Um, it says the same cycle time of steam fresh depends on the load, number of items. Press the more test, more time or less time button to change display to reflect the number of items in the load. This display will show one, three, five, or is that B19? One means one items. Three means two or three items. Five is four or five items. And B1, nine indicates a large load such as a comforter. All right, so just be careful with that. Your manual settings, manual dryers, and this is the stuff that we're talking about. All right, stuff that's whatever it's set for, that's what it's going to be. It says uh, 60 minutes. It's going to run for 60 minutes. You do have a speed dry. It says use cycle to quickly dry a small load of laundry. Air dry. It says use cycle to dry all items such as plastic or rubber that can be tumbled dry without using heat all right you got to download a cycle all right it says this cycle um, allows you to download a new and specialized drying cycle to your appliance with a smartphone uh, it says refer to the lg thinq smartphone application to see the cycles available for download all right, let's dive into the selected drying options. So you have different options that you can choose from. Everybody like different options. Make your job so much easier that you can be able to use all these different options for your dryer. All right, so you got normal, right? Turbo, reduced static, energy saver, wrinkle care, damp. Um, you have different options that's um, not adjustable. Some is adjustable as well. Turbo steam, reduced static, wrinkle care, excuse me, damp dry signal, depending on the different setting that you excuse me prefer to use as well all right so most of the options have wrinkle care um, none of them really have energy saver options it says this option helps reduce the energy used by drying clothes at lower temperature than the normal mode when this option is set the dry time will increase and I think I want to really discuss this a little bit because there's so many times I went to a customer's home dryer is not drying properly but the energy saver mode is activated again it's going to allow your dryer temperature to be lower than normal, right? So that means it's going to not heat as efficiently, as hot as it needs to. And it's going to increase the time because it has to compensate for that. So it does not mean your clothes are going to dry properly. So you have to think about that when you see that. I suggest turning it off unless you have clothes that you don't really want to get messed up, that you really want to save energy that does not need that much heat. All right. Um, but outside of that, that's it. The turbo steam and energy saver options cannot be used together. All right, so we talk about cycle modifiers, about modifying buttons, which is your temperature, dry level, time dry. All right, so your dry level, use this button to select the dryness level for the cycle. Press the dryness level buttons repeatedly to scroll through available settings. 
So you can do that, right? Very dry if you want it damped. These are some of the stuff I suggest that you use, all right? It's, it's available to you to use it um, to help your, dry, your clothes dry more efficiently and more effectively, all right? You will be surprised how many people have these settings and do not actually use them. They don't even change them. All right, so just keep that in mind. The temperature, it says use this button to adjust the temperature settings. All right, this allow precise care of fabrics and garments. Press the temperature button repeatedly to scroll through available settings. All right, we got time dryer. We talked about time dryers already. Use this button to manually select the drying time from 20 to 60 minutes in 10 minute increments. All right, use this for small loads or to remove wrinkles. All right, default temperature is high and can be adjusted. The dry level cannot be adjusted. The option can be used together with the reduced static and wrinkle care options. Use the more time and less time buttons to add or reduce the drying time in five minute increments. All right, options and extra functions. Your dryer um, includes several additional cycle options to customize cycles to meet your individual needs. Select the desired option after setting, selecting the desired cycles and settings. You do have reduced static. All right, you have turbo steam. It says use this function to add steam to a cycle. This function will help reduce wrinkles and odors in fabrics. All right, so that's really good because there's so many times that you wash your clothes and over time they can smell, got like an odor. So you can use this in your dryer to help with the odor in the fabrics if you feel as though um, they just got a small, a strong odor smell. Um, wash machine, we always um, instruct customers to clean the wash machine. You got reduced static sec, um, cycle. Use this function to add steam late in the drying cycle to reduce static electricity caused by dry fabrics rubbing together. All right, so that's good there. All right, um, use the modify button to customize the settings for that cycle. Press and hold the damp dry cycle button for three seconds to activate, deactivate this function. All right, so you have options to choose from, man. So again, you can, you can pause this, you can look at it, check this out, and um, you know, read over a little bit, learn how to use your appliance, and go ahead and do your thing. All right, energy saver, we talked so much about this option to help reduce the energy consumption of normal cycle. Depending on the load size, when the energy saver option is selected, the cycle begins with an air dry section and the drying time is increased. All right, again, it's not necessary to use it unless you want to use it. Signal, you already know what that is, right? This button, um, it says use this button to adjust the volume of the end of cycle or turn off the signal. So you can do that. I've had a customer that I had to turn off their dishwasher because she... Didn't want to hear the chiming noise after um, every time it was finished, so showed her how to do it, and that was it. All right, damp dry signal, right? So it says when the option is selected, the appliance signals when the load is approximately 80% dry. This allows you to remove faster drying lightweight items or items that would um, that you would like to iron or hang while they are slightly damp. All right, cool. All right, wrinkle care. So select this option will tumble the load periodically up to three hours after the selected cycle until the door is open. This is helpful in preventing wrinkles when you are unable to remove items from the dryer immediately. Press the wrinkle care button before you start a drying cycle. Control lock, right? We already know that. Use this function to disable the controls. This function can prevent children from changing cycles or operating the dryer. All right, so you just hold it. Locking, unlocking the control, press and hold the turbo steam button for three seconds to activate and deactivate this function. Drum light, wrinkle care, right? The dryer spins um, for a periodic, um, uh, for a portion of the time, right? So it doesn't just sit and allow your clothes to get wrinkles. Talk about the LG ThinQ app, right? The smart appliance, you can do so many different things. Um, energy monitoring, so let's look at some of the stuff. Drying cycle, where you can download new and specialized cycles that are not included in the standard cycles on the appliance. You can do that through the app. Energy monitoring as well. Remote control. You can do that. Um, being used, it said using the LG ThinQ application. Push buttons, messages, smart diagno diagnostics, right? So you can do that and communicate your smart diagnostics through the appliance. Energy saver, ThinQ. So, so many options. Disabling remote start manually. Download cycles, right? So, again, another smart appliance. Again, always be careful when you're doing with Wi Fi. Um, it's a small appliance, man. People can hack into it too. So um, I don't know what they'll do if it starts your dryer up or whatever, but you just gotta be careful with that. All right, smart diagnostics is extremely helpful as well. All right, so we can dive into where it talks about 
Just keep letting the video rock for a second, man. Really, really like this appliance. One of the benefits, again, the reversible doors. Depending on how your laundry room is set up, you can put it on the left side or the right side as well. The adjustment shouldn't be that difficult. Um, it's inside your owner's manual, so check that out, and it's going to be in the description box if you want to switch the doors. It's not a difficult thing to do. All right. Um, look at the door. We really, really like the door, man. Um, door handle, glass. Like I said, opening the door inside of the unit is extremely huge, man. Really nice size. Um, one of the things we like about the appliances is they don't use actual door handles, so they don't actually break. So like you can see there, it's inserted inside the door. We're able to just pull on the handle, it makes it more sturdier, right? And I like the chrome around it and the glass look. I think this is an amazing look for LG. Um, you do have maintenance tips that you can look at inside the owner's manual as well when you're talking about this appliance, man. So I'm just going to pause that right there. Um, again, all this stuff is in the owner's manual, man. Cleaning the lint, we express that a lot. So many different things. You can actually open it up and break it into pieces. You can clean it off, vacuum it, all that type of stuff. You can wash it. Um, in your, uh, you know, in a sink or something, or in wherever it is. But I'm telling you, man, when you're talking about an appliance, man, fully loaded, man, by LG, you already know I'm your boy Richie Rich, and I'm out of here, man. Functions and the features, LG. Let's go. We out. Peace. Like the movies, how it's gonna stay in the fight.